The aircraft carrier Giuseppe Garibaldi was stricken from the active list of the Italian Navy in the last days of 2024 and is now waiting for the subsequent disarmament and permanent decommissioning. Officially designated as an aircraft carrying cruiser, she was an iconic vessel. Today we're investigating Giuseppe Garibaldi and saying her our respectful farewell. Giuseppe Garibaldi is counting the days for official retirement after nearly 40 years of service. She was the first actual operational aircraft carrier of the Italian Navy according to one definition and also the last cruiser built in Western Europe from another perspective. For Italy, Giuseppe Garibaldi was a 50-year dream which came true. This country's aircraft carrier development adventure goes back to 1925 when the Italian Navy acquired the civilian train ferry Citta di Messina to convert her into a seaplane carrier. She was renamed as Giuseppe Miralia. However, the vessel primarily served as an experimental catapult ship for most of her career. In the 1930s, many Italian Navy staff still had unfavorable opinions about having an aircraft carrier. Nevertheless, as soon as it joined the Second World War, Italy began converting the ocean liner Roma into an aircraft carrier and named her Aquila. However, the ship was still under construction when Italy signed the armistice in 1943. The 1947 Paris Peace Treaty, signed after the Second World War, banned this country from owning an aircraft carrier. When Italy became a NATO member in 1947, some restrictions were eased. Still, it could not have a ship with a full-length flight deck. So Rome followed another path to have a functional ship-based naval aviation force and ordered three Andrea Doria-class guided missile helicopter cruisers in 1957. However, only two vessels, Andrea Doria and Caio Duilio, were commissioned. The third cruiser, Enrico Dandalo, was cancelled in favor of the more advanced and enlarged Vittorio Veneto class. Initially, Italy planned to build two ships of this class. Yet, in the 1970s, a new concept, the aircraft carrying cruiser was raised. The USSR began to build the Project 1143 Kyiv class, whose NATO reporting name is the Kyiv class. Besides, the Royal Navy, which cancelled the CVA-01 program, was now working on the Invincible class, initially defined as an aircraft carrying cruiser, to replace its carriers. So Italy followed the same path and cancelled the second Vittorio Veneto class cruiser Italia in favor of a new aircraft carrying cruiser which was not an aircraft carrier on paper. It was a blatant cheat, which the world preferred to ignore. At that time, the Soviet Navy also used the term heavy aircraft cruiser for its Kiev class to overcome the restrictions of the 1936 Montreal Convention. Likewise, Japan, a country that cannot constitutionally own an aircraft carrier, operates four helicopter destroyers today. So, in 1977, Italy began the design works of its new aircraft carrying cruiser Giuseppe Garibaldi and completed it within three years. The ship was laid down on March 26, 1981, launched on June 4, 1983 and commissioned on September 30, 1985. However, Italy needed more than one trick to solve the legal problems. A 1923 law required the Italian Air Force to provide fixed-wing support to the Navy. However, the Air Force was unwilling to operate these sole aircraft on Navy's behalf or allow the Navy to have its own pilots. This resistance continued until 1989. Then the Navy was allowed to order AV-8B Harrier IIs. The first Italian Harrier operations on Giuseppe Garibaldi began in December 1994. Therefore, the Italian Navy used the ship as a helicopter carrier for nearly 10 years. Still, before that, in various exercises, the Royal Navy Harriers had already landed and taken off on Giuseppe Garibaldi. Until the Royal Thai Navy commissioned HTMS Chakri Narubat in 1997, Giuseppe Garibaldi was the smallest functioning aircraft carrier in the world. Despite her relatively small hull, she was an extremely capable vessel. The ship had 6 decks and 13 vertical watertight bulkheads. The propulsion system was divided into two groups in separate watertight compartments to guarantee the survivability of the engines. She could keep her operability even with three adjacent compartments flooded. The hull was equipped with standard anti-roll fins. Still, while sailing at speeds over 18 knots, two pairs of retractable fins with electrohydraulic control were activated, reducing rolling from 30 to 3 degrees. 
Besides, two active compensation boxes were filled or emptied by water, transferred by two electric pumps to balance the ship during air operations. The ship had operation capability in the CBRN environment. The exhaust gases were released after cooling to reduce the infrared signature. The flight deck with a 6.5 degree ski ramp at the front was 173.8 meters long and 30.4 meters wide. The hangar, divided into three sections, was 110 meters long, 15 meters wide and 6 meters high. Two 18 meter long and 10 meter wide elevators with a 15 ton capacity linked the hangar to the flight deck. Giuseppe Garibaldi could carry up to 18 aircraft. The Italian Navy deployed 16 AV-8B Harrier IIs and two search and rescue helicopters for standard aircraft carrier operations. For anti-submarine warfare, humanitarian and disaster relief and amphibious assault duties, the vessel carried only helicopters. Italy deployed the AB-212, SH-3D, SH-101, CH-47 and A-129s on the Giuseppe Garibaldi. After the 2003 refit, the ship also gained the control capability for the RQ-1B Predator unmanned aerial vehicles. Due to the commissioning of cover, the Italian Navy ceased fixing aircraft operations on Giuseppe Garibaldi in 2012 and retested her as a helicopter carrier for amphibious assault duties. Giuseppe Garibaldi housed the Harrier IIs again when cover was under refit for the F-35Bs. For amphibious assault operations, she could carry two man-class fast personnel launcher with 250 people capacity. Giuseppe Garibaldi underwent a modernization in 2003 and gained Maritime Component Commander capability. In 2013, the ship underwent modernization again. The complement of Giuseppe Garibaldi was 825 people, including a 230-person aircrew and 45-person flag staff. The ship had a length of 180.2 meters, a beam of 30.4 meters, and a draught of 6.7 meters. Her standard and fully loaded displacements were 10,100 and 13,850 tons, respectively. She had four 20,250 horsepower Fiat GELM 2500 gas turbines in Kogak configuration. Her maximum speed was 30 knots. She had a range of 7,000 nautical miles, in other words, 13,000 kilometers, with an economical speed of 20 knots. Giuseppe Garibaldi had the EF-band SPS 52C long-range air search, D-band SPS 768 air search, and EF-band air surface search radars, whose ranges were 440, 220, and 155 kilometers, respectively. The ship was also fitted with the SPS-702 UPX Surface Search Target Indication, SPN-753 GM Navigation, and SPN-728M1 Carrier Controlled Approach Radars, all of which were I-band. In addition, Giuseppe Garibaldi had Raytheon DE-1160LF BAM-mounted active search sonar operating at 5.6, 7.5 and 8.4 kHz frequencies. The ship was initially equipped with four Automat Mark II anti-ship missiles, making her the only Western aircraft carrier with such capability. However, they were removed in 2013. This inertial and active radar-guided missile with a 210kg semi-armor-piercing warhead had a 160km range and a Mach 0.9 speed. Giuseppe Garibaldi had two Albatros octopole launchers for the Aspide semi-active radar homing air defense missiles with a 30kg warhead. They were coupled with three IJ-band SPG-75 fire control radars. The Aspide had a 13km range and Mach 2.5 speed. The ship carried 48 missiles. Giuseppe Garibaldi had three 40mm twin-barrel Dardo close-in weapon systems associated with three IJ-band SPG-74 fire control radars. The air defense gun was effective against sea-skimming anti-ship missiles and had a 4km range against air targets. Giuseppe Garibaldi had two 324mm triple-tube torpedo launchers. The ship initially used the Mark 46 and later the MU-90s. From February 18 to April 5, 1994, Giuseppe Garibaldi participated in the Ibis II mission as the command ship of the 25th Naval Group, which was tasked with withdrawing the Italian contingent from Somalia. One year later, she returned to Somalia as the command ship of the 26th Naval Group, 
this time for the withdrawal of the UN peacekeeping contingent. In 1997, Giuseppe Garibaldi supported Operation Albaneo to protect aid deliveries to Albania and evacuate civilians. During the 1999 Kosovo War, Italy deployed its carrier to the Adriatic Sea again, but this time for a combat mission. Giuseppe Garibaldi's AV-8B Harrier IIs carried out 30 sorties in 63 hours of flight. The aircraft dropped Mark 82 GBU-16 bombs and launched AGM-65 Maverick missiles against Yugoslavian targets. From November 2001 to March 2002, she served as the command headquarters for Operation Enduring Freedom. Giuseppe Garibaldi sailed non-stop for 87 days during this mission, covering about 37,000 kilometers. In 2006, the carrier served again as a commanding headquarters in Lebanon, first for Operation Mimosa and later for Operation Leonte. She also entered the port of Beirut to evacuate European Union citizens to Cyprus. In 2011, Giuseppe Garibaldi handed over the Italian Navy's flagship title to the new, larger carrier, Cavour. During the Libyan Civil War in March 2011, she participated as a support ship in Operation Odyssey Dawn and from March 26 to July 26, she was engaged in the Unified Protector Operation in part as the command headquarters. Giuseppe Garibaldi sailed non-stop for 78 days during this mission, covering about 37,000 kilometers. Her eight AV-8Bs dropped 160 guided bombs during 1,221 flight hours. From November 2015 to April 2017, Giuseppe Garibaldi was deployed as the flagship of the EU Operation Sofia, which aimed to prevent human trafficking in the central Mediterranean Sea. In early 2024, she served as the flagship of the NATO Response Force, her last mission. Although the Italian Navy had scheduled Giuseppe Garibaldi's retirement for October 1, 2024, she was kept in active service for two more months due to a delay in delivering Trieste. Italy commissioned its new multi-purpose aircraft carrier landing helicopter dock on December 7, 2024, putting Giuseppe Garibaldi in reserve. Since the Italian Navy officially designated Giuseppe Garibaldi as an aircraft carrying cruiser, some could consider her as the last West European cruiser. Yet we insist that this designation was merely a disguise. If you see a bird that walks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Giuseppe Garibaldi looked like an aircraft carrier and served like an aircraft carrier. She was a pure and simple aircraft carrier. Still, let's play the devil's advocate. The CV used to define an aircraft carrier in pennant numbers are the initials of cruiser and volet, a French word meaning to fly. So all aircraft carriers are already cruisers. Which logic is more convenient for you? Giuseppe Garibaldi was indeed an iconic ship. Perhaps nothing ended for her. If the recent conflicts and crises escalate, the Italian Navy might reactivate her. Alternatively, a country might acquire Giuseppe Garibaldi. Where there is life, there is always hope. Still, Giuseppe Garibaldi will always be an unforgettable aircraft carrier in the hearts and memories of naval enthusiasts. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.